everyone welcome back to this new tutorial Shal here from Dradia studio today tutorial will be about uh, depth of field and bokeh shape in Luscore render so as you can see i have a scene here with uh, a cup of glass and some water inside a leaf here some lemon and i have also this little cube shape here on this cube i just um, apply an emissive shader so this uh, one uh, will add some light i also have uh, something here it is uh, a simple area lamp to make uh, everything a bit brighter i also have um, this spotlight to make some light pass through the the cup and this is it nothing fancy and in my lighting i have um, an, an hdri it is a simple blue image nothing uh, special so let's see how it look okay i turn to render and as you can see you can see the lemon and everything and the brighter cube shape on the image so I want to use this image to produce some kind of bokeh uh, depth of field effect. Uh, it is the effect you can get uh, when you use some kind of strong depth of field, like you can see here, and a circular bokeh shape. You can use this to create some kind of hexagonal uh, shape and many different shapes, as you can see here. Yeah, you can see you have some earth shape uh, bokeh and here you can see the kind of uh, uh, setup the real world photograph used to make this kind of shape you can use uh, any kind of shape you want and you can do the same in Lusco by using some kind of shape to change the, the, the shape of your bokeh so let me show you how it's work it, is, it will be fast and uh, and easy so the first thing you need to do you have to select your camera and go inside the camera settings check depth of field by default depth of field is set to 2.8 and as you can see we start to get some uh, blurry circular uh, shape on the on the emissive material and if we want to to make the thing stronger we have to reduce the depth of field and you see everything become very very blue and this is because we don't have a a focus point so i want to add a, a focus point inside of the of the the scene so let me add a simple uh, empty and use it as a, a focus point so i put the empty inside of the cup so that my cup will be uh, a bit clear while everything around will be uh, blurred so select the camera again and check focus object and click on empty now that we have the empty setup we can go in the viewport render and see what is happening the the cup of glass is clear but everything outside seems to be blurred so we can increase the effect by reducing the the, the f-stop value and as you can see we have some uh, very very uh, big uh, bouquet shape here we can make them a bit uh, smaller by like this and you can see it is working and what we can do also is to change the 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 shape of the our our light here so you can use triang triangular shape like this 
free blade you can increase hexagonal and many shape but the most important uh, thing i want you to notice is under this uh, uh, this uh, settings you have a bokeh distribution uh, panel where you can change from exponential to Gaussian and verse Gaussian and all kind of thing but the most important for me and most uh, fun for me is to use an image to describe how your light will be shaped so this one need to use you can use um, mostly any kind of image you want but some work better than other Mm, the most interesting uh, image for me are the PNG, correctly transparent PNG. So I have selected some of them here. You can see I can use the earth shape. It is a transparent PNG image. And as you can see, it switch from the original shape we had and we have now this one. And we can make the f stuff more dramatic so we have bigger art as you can see and we can change also the, the image we can choose another one I have a bird here and you can see it is working I can make the bird even bigger by reducing the value here and you can see so thank you for watching this tutorial and see you the next time.